A warrant. You got a warrant. A warrant for what? Man, stop! How do I have Three seven two, we're fighting. We were in uh, the area of Pensacola for Green and Cervantes. And that particular afternoon, it's all an uh, individual uh -huh. walking with a full mask over his face. So we wanted to get out and check with him, make sure he was doing okay, because it's kind of unusual to be wearing a full mask cover your face in the summertime. I was just checking on you. I got my ID, that helps. I was just make sure you're okay, you had the thing over your face. You yeah, okay? it's dusty. Oh, dusty? Yeah. I got you. I got this from Home Depot. Okay, just keep it for dust. You're good, man. When I first started talking to him, he was very, very friendly, actually. I had no issues with him. When I went back, ran his name in our computer system, and showed they had an active warrant with our agency. If they know they have warrants, and if they're what I call repeat offenders, they know that they, they're constantly getting arrested on warrants, they're the ones who are typically going to run. He, in his instance, he was, was a repeat offender, so it didn't surprise me he wanted to try to get away. Go ahead and put your hands on your back. A warrant? You got a warrant. A warrant for what? Man, stop! How do I have 372, we're fighting. Why are you doing this? Hey, don't put your hands by your back. No, I didn't do anything. I'm sorry, but you, you. Oh, how do I have a warrant? Put your hands by your back now. How do I have a warrant, sir? I'm sorry, I apologize. I didn't mean to. Uh, Three seven two, we're fighting. I waited for backup. Once I got a control of him, he said the fight was over. Um, he said he wanted to basically give up. I got one handcuff, but he still had one tucked underneath his body. If he had some kind of weapon tucked underneath him, he was waiting for me to get off him. He could use that point. Best option at that point is if I have full control over him, wait, someone else get there, so that way he can safely cuff him. Five, six, six We're just, we're laying seven, in the middle of the road. I just need some uh, help getting him cuffed up, please. Nine, 10. I don't have any weapons. I didn't reach for a weapon. No, I, didn't, I didn't grab you in any way. I showed you my ID and I asked you a question. I'm, I'm not in fear of you anymore. I can, I can walk on my own um, strength. You're welcome. Yep. Just so we could um, stop blocking the road. Okay. <laughs> Once he realized that after all the events uh, transpired that he hit me, he started apologizing several times, saying you're sorry. He knew he shouldn't have punched me. And I scared him by saying that he had a warrant. I was trying to get you cuffed up, you continue to try to run away, all right? I was reacting in fear. I understand that that's, that's, that's your answer to it, and I appreciate you being straight up with me, but is there any other questions you have for me? I am coherent. Yes, I, sir. I am not a harm to you or yes, anybody sir. else, and I apologize no, for that. I appreciate it. You're very kind. Thank you. Natural instincts, like, look, I don't want to go to jail. I don't want someone to take my freedom away from me, so I'm going to do what I can to get away. Best thing to do is take care of that warrant. If you turn it on yourself on your own accord, you're not going to get any additional charges. If you fight with police and you get a battery charge, it's a felony in the state of Florida. It's a serious charge. They can get you actually some serious time in prison for it. I heard the TV show going. I didn't hear it. I remember the episode of the TV show. You're, you're telling me you didn't hear all the banging, me calling out your I first name? My, I, didn't, I, didn't hear my I told name. you why we were here. We felt it's a donut shop. Cops are supposed to be here. I'm not worried about them or what? Sometimes, yeah. <laughs> what, tonight? I mean, you guys do eat a lot of donuts, man. You, you got to say that.